here, everyone. Keep it King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Signage Mod 7.2 Alpha ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. As you can see, it just booted up. I do have a video showing you how to install it in case you want to check that out. I'll link to that in the description of the video. But let's go ahead and press on the guy, get started. I'm going to go ahead and skip these signups. Don't want to make you watch these. But, anyways, as you can see, it uh, booted up right away. Uh, right away, as you notice, ADW launcher. Of course, you can install any other custom launcher, whether Go Launcher or whatever, if you don't like this ADW launcher. But anyways, here we go. So everything is pretty much working. You're going to be able to make text. You're going to make uh, you send picture messages. You can make calls. Data works. As you can see, the 3G icon up at the top is working. GPS, Bluetooth, sound, uh, camera works. Everything's going to work, but you won't have 4G. So if you use 4G, you're out of luck for now. Uh, 4G does not work. But anyways, Signage Mod ROM, Signage Mod 7.2 is basically trying to emulate stock gingerbread with a few different tweaks, a few added tweaks. So let's go ahead and go over those. As I said, you got your gingerbread launch, gingerbread ADW launcher by default. So let's go ahead and check up at the notification bar. Let me clear this notification real quick. And as you can see right up here, it looks like you got the stock gingerbread battery icon as well as stock signal bars and stock 3G icon. Those will light up green once you sign into your Google account. Uh, let's go ahead and swipe down notification bar. As you can see, you have quick panel toggles right up here. Um, you can edit those as well as edit the order. I will be showing you those soon, but as you can see, you turn those on and off. Uh, nice gray uh, gingerbread notification bar, so everything looks very like ginger, very much like gingerbread. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and go to menu, go to settings, scroll down. As you can see, orange over scroll glow, about phone. And as I said, Android 2.3.7 gingerbread. Right there, and mod version, signage of mod 7.2.0. So there you have it. So there you go. You can press uh, press and hold. I mean, not press and hold. You can tap mod version a bunch of times, and it brings up that little picture. <laughs> okay, didn't know about that on signage of mod. But as I said, orange over scroll glow. One of the main awesome features about this ROM is the theming that you can, that you can do with it. Uh, it has a lot of different themes you can install. Um, it's got a separate app for the themes. It's called the Theme Chooser. So go to that, and right away you'll notice that there's three that you can choose from, but there you can get many more from the market. Just type CM7 in the market, and you can get a bunch of different themes, whether it be an ice cream sandwich theme or whatnot. But anyways, as you can see, I'll apply cyan bread. It should be a bluish theme. So I'll hit apply. It'll switch to it right away. No need to flash anything. Sometimes it'll take you back to your start screen. It will force close eventually uh, once you run through it. My guess is it'll force close now. So there you have it. Don't worry about that. The setup wizard might force close. No big deal. But right away, as you can see, icons change to that cyan color. Same with the battery icon up at the top. So it's what's really great about that is you don't have to flash certain ROMs. You just can do it all within the app. Um, your over scroll glow will change colors as well. You got that blue over scroll glow as well instead of the orange. So as you can see, the Theme Chooser app is definitely valuable and it's really amazing, a really great feature of this signage of Brahm. The messaging app is very cool as well. Um, it's white by default, but you can make it black, which I do prefer. Just press menu, go to settings. You got a bunch of different messaging settings, but just check back, black background and uh, exit out of it and then go back into it. As you can see, it's now black. Let's go ahead and text Google. It includes the stock gingerbread launcher. Uh, 466453. Hi. So that would be uh, me texting Google. As you can see, it, uh, it's got a, more of a list style to it, which is very similar to gingerbread, of course. Uh, they should be respond. Oh, there they did respond back right away. So there you have it. That's what the uh, messaging app looks like, of course. So let's go ahead and check out the dialer. Nice stock gingerbread dialer. Um, same with call log, contacts, favorites. Uh, let's go ahead and go to your app drawer. You do have the overscroll glow at the bottom within this ADW app drawer. Um, let's go to signage mod settings. So I'm going to go to menu, go to settings. You have signage mod settings right here. Uh, application display input interface lock screen performance sound. Lock screen by default. You have CRT screen off animation as you can see. Lock screen set by default would be the rings unlock where you can turn sound on and off from the right side and just unlock it from the left. Uh, you got display settings, you can have the screen on animation, so what that is is basically the opposite of screen off, as you can see, it just flips it. So you got that option, you can have it rotate 180 degrees, so if you put it upside down it rotates. Um, let's go ahead and go to interface, I'm not going to go through all these, you can go through them yourself if you want, but uh, you can 
mess with the over scroll effect if you want. You got notification power widget right there. Uh, scroll down, you got widget buttons and widget button order. So you can select which buttons you want there. So if I wanted to uh, toggle LED flashlight, I'll uncheck it, recheck it just to uh, get the setting going. Um, whoops. And then I'll swipe down. As you can see on the right side there, it's now showing up. Let's press it and it works. See the torch works. So your LED light does work, which is awesome. So you can also change the order of those. There's a bunch of different ones you can mess with. Uh, just go to widget button order and you can change the order of your notification power widgets right up there, which is awesome. So that's a really great feature about Cyanogen Mod. You have other tweaks, status bar tweaks with the clock um, uh, and battery status style. So you got those options you can mess with. You have lock screen options. Let's go to style options and lock screen style. So you got uh, four of them. You got sliding tab, which would be the stock gingerbread. Uh, sorry, looks like that went to ring unlock. Let's go try sliding tab again. Okay, there it goes. So that would be the stock gingerbread unlock where you got sound on and off as well as the unlock. You have rotary, which is very similar to the uh, the other, the sliding tab one. It's just a different style. You have lens unlock, which is like me UI, but it just has unlock, no shortcuts. So swipe it down. And then you got the ring unlock, which I already showed you guys. So you got those options. You get you can choose whichever one you want. Um, you can uh, what you can do with the ring lock style. You have a couple options. You can have it be revamped or hollow. Let's try hollow. It should be more like ice cream sandwich. Then let's try it again. All right. So there you go. You got those options there, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can check custom app starter right there and go to custom application, and you can set it to be a custom application. So let's go to messaging. So if I put messaging there, um, let's go ahead and lock it and unlock it. So the middle ring will actually, once you press it, it'll pop up the messaging app right up there. And you just have to put the middle ring inside that messaging application. And it'll open it up. So let's try it. So just go like that. It should open up your messaging application. So you got that option as well, which is awesome. More, uh, m There's many more tweaks you can mess with. You got performance tweaks. Be careful with those CPU settings. I don't know if you can overclock or not. Uh, looks like you can. You can overclock to 1.6 gigahertz. So keep that in mind. You might have problems if you do overclock. So just be careful with those with those settings. Um, other than that, that's really about it. Uh, it looks like you got device settings where you can change the color of the device. Let's try that. So it's on de default. Let's try video cold. Oh, so it changes the the color of your screen, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but it's definitely changing the color. Let's try camera, navigation. Those didn't change it very much. So I'm not noticing much difference in those, but the video, warm video cold, definitely puts a little tint to it. So definitely mess with that. See which one you like the most. Um, I, I'll just put it back on default. You can mess with the sharpness, dynamic. I don't really notice a difference when you change those. Um, but yeah, you got LED notifications as well. You can mess with, I, those are actually some pretty cool settings to, as well. So definitely check those out. You got your launcher settings, ADW launcher right in there. But other than that, that's really just about it. Just a brief overview of the CyanogenMod 7 realm. Let's go ahead and go to the, uh, the browser. Should be similar to the stock browsers you're used to. No really main difference at all. Um, You'll notice it'd be a little different than the Touchless browser, but really not too much of a difference. So nothing, I mean, no lag though. No lag with pinch zooming. So this is actually running very smooth. I'm very impressed. Uh, it's, this is pretty awesome. Let's go to the camera. You do have a modified camera application, as you can see. I'm also using my fly grip, by the way, still. Um, I've been, I got another one to put it on my other devices. So I've been getting great feedback from it. So definitely... Be sure to check out the fly grip. I'll link to that in the description of the video if you want to check that out. Uh, but anyways, uh, th there you have it. That's really just about it. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. I mean, it's it's a really great ROM. Everything's very smooth, very fast. So definitely be sure to check it out if you would like to. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.